Hey, welcome back everyone. So, as you've seen in my latest videos, it has been raining every day, every other day. It's been crazy here the past, uh, I don't know, month, really, almost. And I've been uh, sick for like two weeks. Crazy, crazy something or other. I don't even know. You know, some, I had uh, <clears throat> um, like almost migraine headaches and no appetite. You know, and then in one minute I'd be chilled and the two minutes later I'd be sweating. That was crazy. I didn't have any kind of like lung issues. It was just this incredible headache that, and just chills. It, never had anything like it. <clears throat> Don't know where I got it from. I'm not one of those people that goes out in crowds, so I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm over it. So, as you've seen, I got my sawmill, and I actually had went out uh, to where we're going to be taking the trees down. You can see, I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous day out here today. It's very windy. And, big news is, no rain for a week. Like, we're supposed to have weather like this. I mean, we've been in the, like, 66 to 70. Beautiful, beautiful skies, breeze blowing. Like, I, I just can't imagine it's June right now. But I know that's going to change. So, uh, I'm going to take advantage of this right now. And we're going to go mow hay. So, I'm going to get at least some down so that I can get it in the barn. And then the next time I'll get another batch down because if you watch my videos from last year we don't have a baler we do uh, we do loose hay so what I did was with this thing uh, there's a bolt in there I took it out pulled this thing out pulled the bar the, the uh, knife blade out and I sharpened these I don't know if you're supposed to sharpen these things or not my dad used to you know, now they have serrated blades, but I sharpened them. Depending on where you go, Tractor Supply, they went three bucks a piece, so that'd be ninety dollars. Um, the other place that's same distance is two dollars a piece. So I just sharpened them. I mean, I'm not in the professional haymaking business. I get this stuff on the ground. I could care less what it looks like. Um, Got it all greased, put back together, had to have the wife help me get this thing back in, get it underneath these hold, these hold downs. I think it should cut pretty good. Uh, what else? Greased it, tractor's good, oil's good. We're good. So we're going to go mowing. Well, here we go. 2024. First hay of the season we're just gonna do this little swath here well it's not so little I don't know how big it is and then we'll let it lay for a day or two it's pretty windy today and then he'll rake it and we'll use the hay sweep and throw it in the barn loose Yeah, baby. The hay is tall. It's up to my chest. And I'm 5'7". And you can see how high it is up with the tractor. <laughs> Alright, so he's making his first swipe. This here that he mowed down was the back cut, so he's not running over all the hay, I guess. So the tractor will be in this spot now, and the rest of this hay will be mowed down, and he won't be running over any hay, standing hay.
none of this is sprayed. It's El Natural. And the goats quite enjoy it. See how he's in the lane from the back cut. Just sharpened the blades on the sickle bar. That's what he's mowing with. And there he goes. All right, we'll check back in later. I'm cleaning. Just took a little break from cleaning. I uh, wasn't here in the tractor running, so I thought maybe something happened. And he's just right across the street from me. <laughs> so I came over to check. Just about done. But I guess the sickle bar is bunching up. That pile. No, that's the hay. Right there. The big pile. So, he loaded me up. We'll feed this to the goats tonight. But it's high and it's thick. So there's a fawn just came out of the grass right up there and has run down he's like 20 yards somewhere right in here I'm gonna have to get out and run him off because I do not want to hit a fawn chop his legs all up uh, I've only ever did that once and it's horrible all right let's go see what we can do Get going, little dude. Go on. I don't want to hit you. No, I don't. Go on. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, I don't want you hiding in here. In this. It's so thick. All this rain we've had is incredible. Look at chest high. Look at this. Come on, buddy. Get going. Get going. Get going. Go! There you go! Gone! 
Keep going. You go to the creek, you're good. There you go. Awesome. Woo! Good. Still stay down there now. <sighs> yeah, look at this stuff. Look at this. Stuff's nipple high. For me, anyways. Man, it's thick. Wow. It's looking really good. Looking really good. Machine's cutting good. Alright. Alright, our little fawn is back again. Ugh. See if we can run him off. Just seen him. Get going! Get going! Go on! Where did you go? Get going! Don't go up the road! Well, holy smokes it's windy, which honestly, really nice sitting on the tractor today. <laughs> but yeah, he's cut. I don't know, there's probably two, three acres here. So, super thick. Holy smokes. Like, you couldn't walk in this stuff. So, I got a couple big balls I'm going to have to pick up. I'll just feed them to the goats. But, alright, I'm going to go get this thing off. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with it now. I got that adjustment done. And then, uh, cutting nice so next will be over there across the creek so alright well the hay has had time to dry in the sun now it's being raked oh if you could smell this nothing like the smell of hay Oops. There are some big bumps over there. Sorry, it's so bright out I can't even see. This hay rake is old, but it has been very well maintained. And we got it for a bargain. Look at those windrows. So after this is all raked up and dry enough before the rain comes on Friday, we'll be sweeping her and putting her in the barn loose again this year. This rake does a nice job. All right. I'm making soap with the grandkids today, so next update will be from the hubby. Peace out.
right. So what I did this morning was, and I, this is not my uh, original idea. I found this on the internet last, yeah, last hay season. So a lot of some guys that are doing, you know, small hay, don't have all the equipment. They're using rotary mowers, brush hogs, and. Some of them are actually taking the sides off and then just the hay flies out and doesn't mulch it up. So I kind of adapted that idea when I have wet spots since I don't have a tether. So what I did was, and it, what they said they did was they basically mounted it so that, you know, the the mower is sitting kind of high in the front low in the back so you're basically only chopping with the back of the mower not the front so nothing's getting mulched so as you can just see in the last clip of all my windrows well i'm going to take you down here and i'm going to show you what it looks like and uh you know i busted up a bunch of that stuff but let's go down let's check it out because it's been i don't know three four hours so let's see how dry it is because if it's dry uh, i'm going to take this off put the rake on and start raking it into windrows to be picked up okay so this is what it kind of looks like you can still see windrows <coughs> i mean it doesn't you know doesn't wipe it out or anything and it kind of just spreads it it's still look at this i mean i mean it's still long and yeah, it's, it's definitely dry. Yeah, there's no, no juice. No juice in it. So, but that's what it looks like after you kind of whack it with a uh, brush hog. So, all right, well, I'm going to go back up. Go back up here and uh, get that brush hog off and get the brake on and we're going to start raking get this into big big wind rows well looky here hubby has everything all raked up the hay is dry now we've got to get all of this in tonight because it is going to rain in the morning. Right now it's about oh, 4.30 in the afternoon, maybe 5. So there's a lot to get in. Oh, biting flies. So he's just going to sweep it now into piles. <clears throat> And then, once they're in piles, he's going to bring down the skid steer with the grapple bucket and scoop it up and shove it in the barn, pack it in best we can, hoping we'll be able to get two more cuts off of this. We've got uh, across the creek here, right where we're at. more hay. He hasn't mowed it yet, but I need to pay attention. Look at that. Oh my goodness, these horse flies are biting. Working pretty good. Right over here, that little dip, that's the creek. So there's quite a bit of hay over there to mow. And even up above the pond. Just gonna try to push everything to this area right here. So we just have to go across the road here and right into the barn. Look 
at that. That works so good. Last year, we had seen a YouTube video, somebody using one of these, and the hubby says, I can make one of them. <laughs> so he went and milled lumber and made one. Man, it sounds bright and it is hot here. I think it's in the 90s today. piles there are maybe about six he's gonna run around and get the little scragglies but I believe he's headed over to get the skid steer and get this stuff in the barn take that mother nature <laughs> I know he's so happy it's been kind of a busy hectic week so I'm traffic control so I won't be filming till we're done. All right, it's our last six mile. We'll go around and rake everything one last time, and probably have quite the big pile again. But uh, this is him taking a bite out of a pile. Right 
I'm traffic Whew. control. Just walked out of my croc. I mentioned it earlier about it being in the 90s so then he's just driving it right into the barn but he's able to get quite a quite a big bite with the grapple bucket and then he's just running it over and packing her down Well, it's all in. It's like, I don't know what that is. Maybe three acres of hay. So, I'm guessing, oh, I don't know what this is. Twelve feet high. It's probably a good 15 feet back there. 
and at least 15 feet wide. So it's all in there. Now, obviously, skid steer did well. Oh, obviously, um, I left some out there, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna actually hook up. I'm gonna hook up my uh, my rake and just run around out there, and I, I while I still have the oh, the hay sweep on, I might just rake it all up and push it into a pile and. Maybe run back down with the skid steer. I don't really know. We're going to see what happens. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. So, but we beat the rain. That's what I'm talking about. We beat the rain. The wife stood out here for I don't know how long, at least an hour or better, in the blazing sun there, telling me I can go or have to wait for traffic. So, but awesome. We beat the rain. So, Next nice stretch of weather, we're going to do on the other side. Alright, peace out.